Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So there's very few characters more notable than Illidan to any real Blizzard franchise, at least for a lot of us. A lot of you guys that started watching my YouTube channel in World of Warcraft nearly 10 years ago. Actually, more than 10 years ago it's been. So we've been around a long time and Illidan has finally come to Hearthstone. The most iconic character that Blizzard has, in my opinion, has hit Hearthstone, has hit it in every single format. It's not just he shows up in Constructed. We have finally a brand new class, and it's been one with a lot of turmoil, actually, to a point where it had to be nerfed on the second day of the expansion. Now, since that nerf, a lot of very creative people have come up with some very cool decks featuring the new Demon Hunter class, and it's starting to climb up near the very top once again. If you're looking at playing Demon Hunter decks in Constructed, some of the highest win rate decks in the game right now feature tempo-based demon hunters. But you know me, I like the control, I like the combo. So today I'll feature a little bit of combo demon hunter. Um, it's a very interesting play style. It's, uh, while it's not the best, most powerful way to play demon hunters in constructed it is in my opinion the most enjoyable so perhaps i can give you guys that angle today and uh what really stands out of the demon hunter class is its ability to play every single archetype it's about as flexible as warrior maybe even more so where you can play the full spectrum aggro tempo mid-range control combo it has it all and Illidan has hit the Battlegrounds as well. I know a lot of you guys come and check out this channel for Battlegrounds content these days. and didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Illidan does a pretty interesting job in the Battlegrounds. While he is not one of the better heroes in the Battlegrounds game mode, he is a very interesting one nevertheless. He can do very well. He really uh, pushes the Demon Hunter, the Illidan aspect, the all or nothing right? Um, if you are not prepared to face Illidan in the battlegrounds, he will mercilessly destroy you. Illidan doesn't really have much of a combat advantage until the later parts of the game when you get multiple guys with cleave or multiple guys with divine shields or some fringe death rattle builds I've experimented with in the past. You need some key cards and you need to be slightly more powerful than your opponent. Now, this seems like, you know, well, if you're more powerful than your opponent, well, you'll just win anyway. While that's true, the all or nothing playstyle of Illidan in the battlegrounds makes it so if he is likely to win a match, he is going to destroy and crush that match. The hero power that Illidan has in the battlegrounds allows him to attack with the leftmost and rightmost uh, minions before combat begins. And this, because it is a hero power, happens before card effects can begin. So you guys know one of the newer cards in the battlegrounds, the Red Whelp? Well, that one doesn't get the trigger until Illidan actually attacks. Attacks. So there's a lot of strategy involved in this. It's really powerful with cleaves against some death rattle builds And if you manage to win because you have this hero power, you're typically going to hit for a lot more damage So Illidan has a different play style when Illidan is in any battlegrounds game It's going to be a game that for all players involved is typically going to end faster. So the goals are different. You don't need as a refined late game build as you would in other games because Illidan is in there. He's all or nothing and he's either gonna die very quickly or he's going to deal tons of damage and make it to one of the top spots. While he doesn't do, you know, the best in terms of win rates, he changes the game for everyone and really holds true to his impact and character that we've loved so much over all of Blizzard's franchises. And today, I give you guys a little bit of everything he's offered so far in the Ashes of Outland expansion. Enjoy, and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, dude, that's insane. Murloc Tidehunter sell the token brick by brick? 2-5? Dude, there's like nothing that beats that. Ugh, okay. Yogg does. Is there something that Yogg beats it with? Oh yeah, the 3-5 th homunculus. The 3-4 ties it. No, three. yeah, 3-4 three, ties it. Yeah, only Yogg landing on a homunculus. I 
few things tie it. Yeah, like Kira, super OP guys tie it. I think a Steward of Time is quite a good card. And this isn't too bad. Rat King with either beast beats it. Ties it. Damn, that sucked. Illidan's top tier? There's no way Illidan's top tier. Just, just no way. Illidan's really hard to play. Bomb second? No, 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 we wanted to attack right away. Illidan is fun tier. I don't think uh, you'll get too many arguments with that statement. Oh, dude, it's Pyramid again? Damn it. Seriously? I think that's the best card for the next round. The Taunt Divine Shield is, is very close. I think this is a little better because this is likely to kill something and live with the spawn buff. Should they revert the Millhouse buff? No, if anything, they should maybe do something different. Uh, Millhouse is the, was the worst hero in the game and now he's the best hero in the game. And like, I wouldn't have thought the change would be that significant. So I, I doubt I doubt they thought that. So P. I've got some fresh recruits for you. These are strong cards, though. Soapy. Yes, Soapy. I don't know if I should freeze. It's a really tough call. I think I do freeze for this, but I'm not sure. No. No, change your mind. It's two rolls. There's a lot of good stuff I can get in two rolls. Nice. Not that nice. 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 Too late for Hangry Dragon. Yeah, Hangry Dragons are a real tough call in general. sell that now, but I think buffing 2 is probably fine. Yeah, that's alright. Is Battlegrounds balanced now? Define balanced. Mechs or dragons? Mm, mechs are a lot more consistent, but roll lower. I think I like consistency a bit more. The thing is the mech builds are just a bit more boring. So I, I like mech when it's, it's like this. Like This is like half mech. Or if I can scale like mech cleave if I get like a lucky mech. From uh, from sixes. Okay. 
him. See, this is it's a really good mech run here. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Wow. I'm gonna sell this. Should probably sell this guy as well. No, yeah. Hmm. This is just the scaling Deflectobot play. No, because I have to sell it after. No, this this is a play here. Beautiful turn there as well. Not the right one, I guess. Not the right one. Not the right one. Oh god. Dude, I've only lost like three rounds, but all three of them have been to this stupid card. Like, look how marginal that is. This guy's lost one round ever. He's hit me for like 20 something. Okay. This is the buy, I just... I don't know the best way to do it. I feel like 8 attack is not quite good enough. Yeah, the 4 7 dragon's probably quite good here. Um, I think the 4 6 is the play. Something like that. Oh, he pulled the Malagos. Terrible hits. Terrible hits. That was a good hit, though. Decent hit. Oh, come on! What?! Every single Divine Shield hit went into his Annihilan. Dude, the attack order RNG I'm getting right now is Can do one more roll. That's interesting. He has one triple on fives. Very unlikely to have a cleave. He has. Not too bad. Wait, why did that? That was actually very unlucky for me in terms of attack order. This is three win streak. I lost the last earlier. Hera Mad for the fourth time this game. I'm 0 3 against him. Is a taunt divine shield kaboom bot. Whoa, double triple. 
Wait, is that double bait? I think that's double bait. No, I think I think Deflecto Bot is fine. Sensei is not. No, I think having two Divine Shield taunts is very beneficial. Yeah, the Death Rattle might be a little bit early. But I didn't have a cleave last time, and I think I played him like on cooldown the entire game, so. Yep. Good plays led to that, by the way. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it didn't die. That's good. I'm finally going to beat Pyramid. Finally, guys. Finally. And by beat, I mean destroy. Get out. Get. All right. That's some payback right there. Not Millhouse. Okay. Wait. Is that better? Six win streak demons. Oh, okay, that that might actually be worse than Millhouse. Okay, uh, all right. Ravender's not gonna work because this card's gonna flood. Mm, some tough choices here. Yeah, I don't actually really like that card. Take the two four just as a buff. I guess just as a buff is decent. Plus, I might get a mech later. Baron again. Baron again. I like where you're going with this. The idea is those get an extra refresh for that. Or, or not. That is not a good order. Wonder if I'll ever actually land kills on those jugglers. No, no, I will, I will not. All right, well, we don't die. Any defeat that doesn't destroy Millhouse. 36. I think we just get outstatted here. I think I am stronger than Malagos, but he, uh, he is pretty lucky. But I wasn't going to kill him. So I guess it doesn't matter that much. It's really big guys, but I don't think I can get, like, poisonous murlocs to matter. Um... Okay. Yeah, holy mackerel with poisonous might might do the trick. Imp um, no. A little bit of attack won't do anything. That's what I would have picked. Lucky poison? <laughs> he ended up finding a, another Caligus and an Adina. Wait, so this guy just never played Malagos. Since the turn where he beat me, he's never lost. He had 8 HP then. He was last at that point. We are stronger than, than Malagos, and we outscale Malagos, which is much more important. Well, we completely destroyed Pyramid, so basically that's even better than first place, okay? Uh, 
The only warriors above 50% win rate are basically aggro. Maybe this one is like mid range because it has like Alastraza and a 7 drop. Actually, it's Alastraza and. Um... Oh, it's got Deathwing. It's fine, I'll keep that. Seeger Rogue's pretty good and pretty fun, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Most of these... Uh, yeah, I think I'll play Battlegrounds pretty soon. I'm just not crazy about a lot of these decks. That is quite nice, but Demon Hunters can uh, heal pretty well, so I don't think I want to go for a tempo play with it. It's okay. Uh, it's pretty fun to play Demon Hunter, actually. Uh, but the meta is very slow or very fast. I don't know. I just like playing Battlegrounds more. And same reason for Arena. I don't think Arena is particularly bad. Demon Hunter's kind of crap on it, but it looks like that got a bit better with the adjustments they made. But, yeah. They will never catch me. Go to 9 next turn. Okay. Yeah, it's just more fun to play Battlegrounds. When I play Battlegrounds, I feel like I'm playing just a better version of Hearthstone. Like, this is a this is a cool combo deck, but... It's just not as interesting. Blade Dance. My blades will sing. Alas, poor warlock. God, zero cost spells are so valuable, but. Dead? I I hope not. I need just a little bit more time. Do you see what must be done? This shouldn't be good enough. I will have vengeance. Serve your master. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Okay. Wait, I don't have any draw.
It literally had to miss his main guy, and I had to lose three consecutive coin flips. But... But that actually happened. That hits for 12, that's a lot of damage. Wind Fury weapon is not lethal. Have the other one. Fourteen cards in deck right now. They will never catch me. Mm. I'm constantly losing, but every single loss is like utter no. luck, dude. No. Like utter. Like, he was dead this this game, like, five turns ago, if he didn't win. There was five targets on the board, I was killing three. So, let's just call it better than four consecutive coin flips. Don't top tuck an attack buff. God, don't top tuck an attack buff. I have exactly 8 damage right now. Oh my god, we did it. chips. In Canada, they have a flavor called All Dressed, which is like all the spices, barbecue sauce, garlic, they just throw everything at it. I was told in America they don't have these. On one hand, I feel sorry for you, but on the other, it would make people even more obese, so, you know, maybe it's for the best. you have them now? Oh. Rip. found them at the Walmart website, and the reviews say they're not as good compared to Canada's version. Wow, get wrecked. Now, I'm not saying you, you, you don't have good chips in America. Chances are you probably do. When, uh, when I'd go to Germany, I tried a bunch of chips in their supermarket, and Germany has, like, the best, the best, um, like, normal chips, like salt, salt chips. They, um, they're called Lay's Super Chips, and they're, like, extremely dense ridged chips. Like, the densest ridged chip you can get. 
and they're perfectly salted. They're incredible. But you wouldn't think that because it's like, you know, you go to the supermarket there and it's like, oh, yeah, just salted chips, whatever. And actually, normally, I don't like Lay's chips. I find Lay's chips kind of kind of subpar, but some of them, some of them are quite good. Whoa! What is that? RNG Bandersmosh into Dragon Queen Alistraza in what happens to be a singleton deck, and he gets Ysera. Okay, dude. Okay. I think if he had a taunt, he would have played it. I couldn't hear a power and play two spells. God damn it. Yeah, I might lose, but I mean, I'm losing because of like some of the most bullcrap RNG Dragon Queen Alistra I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to play the damn Skull of Gul'dan and not able to do that right now. This guy's toast. This is winnable. Alas, poor warlock. Oh, no spectral sight. That's bad. I hope you like my invention. Oh, spectral sight. That's real good. I see. Burn away, Thrash. I will show Just need silence. Easy. Ah, barely lost any health. <laughs> 